your principal investigator on the recently published landmark finger study on dementia prevention. Could you just outline the background to the study and the, and the headline results for us, please? Yes, yeah, so the finger study, uh, the idea behind was to find ways to prevent or postpone the onset of cognitive impairment and dementia. And finger is really one of the first multi-domain lifestyle interventions showing that it is possible to prevent cognitive impairment. Background for that was the fact that we know that dementia and Alzheimer's disease are multifactorial disorders. So it may not be enough to only target on one risk factors, but we need to focus on several risk factors simultaneously to get an optimal effect. And that was what we did in the finger trial. So it's a randomized controlled trial. We have two groups, one getting the intensive lifestyle intervention, including physical activity, nutrition, cognitive stimulation and social stimulation, and management of all vascular risk factors. Then we have a control group getting regular health advice. Totally 1,260 persons, age range is 60 to 77 years. And we wanted to target at-risk population from the general population, so they had different risk factors for dementia, but not yet any clear memory problems. Mm. And actually, after two years, we were fascinating to see that the results were so clear. This group uh, getting the intensive intervention has much better cognitive performance already after two years. The difference was at, uh, around 25% higher performance in the intensive intervention group. We also could see the difference for different cognitive do domains executive function, uh, psychomotoric speed, and even more complex memory problems. And we could see that the control group had the 30% increased risk for cognitive impairment after, after two years. We also could see that the intervention group uh, could uh, really have the healthier lifestyle after two years. They had improved physical activity, improved the diet, body mass index has declined. Mm -hmm. There were very few side effects and the intervention seemed to be feasible. So I would say that these are really, uh, it's a kind of proof of concept trial, giving uh, for us a model how we could possibly prevent or postpone dementia and Alzheimer's disease. And our next course is in the study are to do the five and seven years follow-up study to really see the uh, effect on the incidence of dementia and also understand more what are the mediating pathways behind this intervention. So these are the goals what we have now. But I hope indeed that these results can be implemented already today because we are lacking evidence-based interventions here. And now we have, as I said, for the first time, a good randomized trial showing the way to go. Thank you. Very interesting. Thank you very much indeed.